Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about multi-channel power triangles. Uh, it's kind of a fancy name, but I want to kind of get your attention so we we know what we're up to here. What I'm trying to do is, you know, take this multiple channel system that we're all dealing with, 517174, whatever the numerical combination is of middle and high frequency drivers and subwoofers. Try to get all of these channels working together so they sound like some kind of musical presentation. Hopefully with the resolution of two channel, but probably not. But we can hope for that. I mean, we can. it gives us enough motivation to try, especially if you have the facilities we have. So I, I like to try different things. So I came up with this idea the other day and, and I wanted to pass it on to you. So in our system, you know, we have we took the center channel, we split it left and right. So you have a left and a right, and then you have a left center, you have a right center, and then you have a left over here, and then you have a right over here. And they're all the same speaker type. None of this <laughs> center channel horizontal dispersion pattern next to a left and right vertical so the screen could go in there and stuff. Now we, we put the left and the other one on each side of the screen. So we get a nice coherent sound stage. There's no holes and no distribution problems, no phase issues with this and these, yikes. So anyway, the bottom line here is I'm trying to get this multiple channel rig to sound, you know, good musically, big, you know, because we got a lot of channels and we got a big room. So let's make a big, big presentation. Well. Big presentation requires, you know, a lot of treatment, a lot of focus and time. So this is one of the things I came across that has has kind of really helped me out uh, getting that presentation value that I'm after. So we went over the fact we split our center channel. Now, if you take the center channel and you form it with the left and the right to the listening position, you have a power triangle. Okay, if you take the left and right channel and put it at the listening position, you have another power triangle. The same thing can be done for the sides and the rear, right? They can be the apex. So you have all of these feeding in that are all, you know, triangles, four different triangles in there. And the distance is critical. So you got to get the distance right in it. But if you get the distances and you get all the time alignment figured out, wow, you could have a huge sound stage with the sides and the rear just enforcing it, just adding more ambience and stuff. You have to be careful with the sides and the rears. You don't want to overpower the front of the house. You just want to kind of bring up the fill, if you will, and make the room sound larger. Now add diffusion to your room, and it'll even sound twice as large. So it's it's been a great experience for us So with all these power triangles. So obviously, if you keep the distances the, the same for the left and the rears and the, all that good stuff, same distance, you're going to get good time alignment. Everything's going to be arriving at the listing position when it's supposed to. You know, you don't have anything that's crazy. Everything's balanced out, you know, because we, we got to deal with consistency. Immediately, you're going to notice an improved resolution and definition. Immediately. It's eye-opening, okay? And then we're always focused on the music, but it also works for theater. But let's just stay with music, you know, because music's the most important part anyway. So the nice thing about these processors today and the one we use, it has gain on the center, sides, and rear. The sides and rear are the same gain, but you get a center punch and then you get sub gain over here. And then our subs allow the gain on them to be controlled. So we get a lot of flexibility. So we produce a lot of energy in the room. We're gonna add two more subs to the room. I just remember that uh, next year. So we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, and why. So sub-management system we talked about. So have we have a huge front of the house. Let's talk about what we have. 
We have the huge front of the house soundstage, huge. It's 18 feet from left channel to right channel, but the soundstage sounds like 40. It's huge. I mean, people sit in the chair and, and we put a, a musical video on the screen. You know, they're, they're, they're listening for <laughs> instruments that are here and here and everywhere. You know, it's, it's amazing. It's, you know, breathtaking. You know, people have actually sat in a chair and cried when, when their favorite song was played. So it can be very moving. You can get things really uh, dialed in. What else do we have here? Uh, large fill area, cre oh yeah. So when you put diffusion on the rear, you get rid of the rear wall psychoacoustically. It sounds farther back than it is. You can't localize it as easy. Good. So that's what we want. Now we're going to put diffusion on the front wall and we'll talk about how that works. And then we'll put diffusion on the side walls and we'll talk about how that works. But here's the thing. The most important finding of all of this was splitting that center channel. And you should do it on your systems. Keep all four of the speakers in the front the same. Keep them all in the same array. The way they disperse energy, keep it the same. Predictability and consistency. Don't have a horizontal dispersion and vertical on both sides. You don't want that. Problem with having a mid-range driver right next to the base drivers here, too. That's not good. So there's a lot of problems. It's a marketing technique. I've always thought that. Always. So, but I read an article the other day, 70% of the information in multiple channel systems comes out of this center. Really? You want to come out of this center or this there you go. So it's worth it. It's worth spending the extra money. So it's just a thing we came up with that really improved definition and resolution on the musical paradigm. So multi-channel power triangles. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.